Hi, I'm Avi Shabbat. I am the owner and founder of Shabbat Guitars. I'm originally from Jerusalem, Israel. I came to the U.S. in 2007 to try and pursue luthery as a career. The bug of guitar making started for me when I needed to figure out how to fix one of my bad guitars. And I bought this five string bass and I came back and the bass was in bad shape. The truss rod was broken. So I went to every guitar technician and luthier that I knew around town. And then I found this guy named Jacob and he said, I can help you fix that bass and you can also join a school that I'm opening for luthiers. You can fix that bass and maybe build yourself another bass. Sounded like a, a dream to me and I said yeah just let me know when you open the school and I'll be there. We did like a whole year of luthery school, did a lot of projects, learned a lot about everything, fixed that bass, built another five string bass like a neck through. Yeah the rest is history. I kind of packed up my bags, sold everything I had and just went into the unknown here. My journey here started with coming here and doing what I know how to do which is being a sound engineer and daytime I would apprentice for guitar stores and guitar shops doing setups, repairs and restorations. Shoes Guitar Shop in Hollywood, I would go there and do a lot of setups. I think I worked on Leonard Cohen's guitars and I apprenticed with Andy Brower. I uh, joined Lance Lerman at LSL building Fender type guitars. I did that for a good three or four years. During that time I did a lot of repairs on my own and then I started my own repair shop on Guitar Groomer here in West Hills and that evolved into Shabbat guitars. And my favorite part about the guitar building process would be the magical part where it all comes together to life and you strike the first chord, everything just opens up. To go to a show and see those guitars on stage being played and you know making music, that's a big, uh, big thing. The guy who started everything for me was my good friend Gonzalo Bergara, who is a, an amazing gypsy jazz guitar player. I built him the first Shabbat and he's got it till today and that's the number one. And it was a, a solid body uh, with a maple neck, three on the side design, and it was very classic. I fell in love with that design and I kept going with that. My first big indoor C uh, is my friend who actually convinced me to make that move. His name is Sean Horowitz. He kind of took me in at the time and showed me around town. He used to play with Smash Mouth and now he's playing with Enrique Iglesias and he's a, a big endorsee of ours. Another good friend of mine is Chris Trainer from the band Bush, Orange 9mm and Helmet. We also sold one guitar to Walter Becker from Steely Dan. We have Erwin Thomas as well who is like a big Australian rock star. We have Paul Riddell was playing with ZZ Ward. Here at Shabbat Guitars, we aim to create guitars that are not only look great and play great and sound great, they're also very stable and roadworthy and hopefully timeless. This is what we strive for. I got here what we call the uh, Lion HB uh, in a modern configuration. This is a mahogany body, cream binding, two Lawler Imperial pickups with CTS potentiometer, switchcraft input jack and a toggle switch, quarter saw and maple neck, Indian rosewood fingerboard, nickel silver, medium frets, Godo tuners, Godo hardtail bridge. We have a truss rod adjustment right here. Thin nitro finish. This is number 42. This is actually owned and purchased by our longtime friend. Uh, he bought it at the 2017 NAMM show from our booth. I'm holding here uh, the Lion GB inspired by Gonzalo Bergara. So I call the GB. Usually it comes with the three on a side classic headstock that we have but this is a custom order for uh, Righteous Guitars. Candy Apple Raid with a new pick guard that we introduced as well. And the GB, the special thing about it is those two uh, Charlie Christian type pickups that Lawler makes. They sound very, very fat. They have a higher gauge wire and a big magnet. Sugar pine body, very light and spongy. Quarter saw neck, rosewood fingerboard, nitro finish. This is like an aged candy apple red. You have like the silver base and then you have the on top of it 
So here we have like an armware where you can see the layers. This is a classic three saddle Cluson Astray bridge that we use on those models. Truss rod adjustment from the heel. This is the Lion HB model, HB for humbuckers. These are the Imperial uh, models for uh, from Lawler. Again, nitro finish. This is a candy apple green. A rosewood fingerboard with a quarter saw neck. Godo hardtail bridge. We age our hardware. You can see kind of like the uh, string marks on the pickup covers. Rust on the hardware. On some models with the maple neck, we also do like finger wear. We also have our cool engraved neck plates. This is number 44. This is like a cool treatment that we do to our necks. Part of the aging process, we take off the finish and we layer a really light layer of sealer on the wood to give it a feeling of almost like a raw wood. It just makes it play a lot faster and smoother. A lot of people dig that. I'm one of them. <laughs>